A Husband's Prayer The role of a husband is that one which a man assumes when he has made his marriage vows before mankind and before God, and when the one officiating the marriage ceremony pronounces two people husband and wife. There are no rehearsals for being a husband, and the husband role comes with a great responsibility of leadership according to the word of God. We see this in 2 Corinthians 11 verse 3. The responsibilities of a husband start by realizing that you are no longer alone and now you have someone to guide and protect. Protecting your wife goes way beyond mastering the alarm system of your house, closing all the windows and locking the doors before you go to bed. It is beyond protecting her from any danger that may come her way. A good husband provides spiritual covering for his wife and loves his wife unconditionally, just like Christ loves the church. Ephesians 5 verse 25 reads, Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself up for her. Your unconditional acceptance of your wife is not based upon her performance, but on her worth as God's gift to you. A husband needs to know that his wife is now his best friend and must ensure that his wife's material, physical, emotional, and spiritual needs are met. The journey of a husband has to be navigated by God, the one who brought the wife to him, when he exclaimed, Bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. The husband has to seek counsel and make consultations daily through prayer. It is also important that a husband has a counselor whom he can confide in, someone whom you can ask some questions and get some advice on playing the role of a husband. The Bible says, live with them with understanding, according to 1 Peter 3 verse 7. A husband ought to dwell well with his wife, with consideration, with tenderness, according to knowledge and with thoughtfulness. Now, pray this prayer with me. My dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for my life and my family. Thank you for my wife. Thank you for your hand upon my life and for the covering of the blood of Jesus upon me and my wife. Thank you for your word, which says in Proverbs 18 verse 22, He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. I thank you for my wife and for the favor that comes along with her. I pray, Lord Jesus, that you grant me the grace to stand as the priest of my own home and as the head of my family. Help me to be a man after your own heart, just like David. Your word says in Acts 13 verse 22, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. Help me, Lord, to seek you, Lord, to seek your face, Father, in Jesus' name, that I may be so passionate for the things of God and that I may be a good husband to my wife. I pray that I may love my wife as you, O God, have loved the church. I pray that I may love my wife unconditionally, that I may love her as I love myself. Teach me to be that loving, compassionate, and considerate husband who cares and provides for his wife. Lord, I pray that I may not withhold love and affection from her, for your word says in Proverbs 3 verse 27, Do not withhold good to whom it is due. Help me, Lord Jesus, to value my wife and honor her as the mother of my children and a suitable helpmate whom you have given me to compliment who I am. I pray in the name of Jesus that as Psalms 19 verse 14 says, 
Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer, that the words I speak to my wife will build her and not destroy her, that what I say may be to uplift her and add to her confidence. Let my speech minister grace to my wife. Ephesians 4 verse 29 I disallow any miscommunication to rule our relationship, but that I may always initiate and facilitate communication in our marriage. I pray that in our relationship we will not give the enemy the chance to drive a wedge between us. Instead, I pray that you, Lord, will bind us together with the scarlet cords that cannot be broken, the cords of the blood of Jesus. I pray for unity in our lives, Father. Let us be like-minded in our goals and ambitions in our relationship. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for your word in Matthew 19, verse 6, which says, What God has put together, let no man put asunder. I pray, let nothing separate me and my wife, not pride, nor even my ego. When I am wrong, Give me the strength to push my ego and any pride to the side and to apologize. I pray that you make me and my wife of one mind, that we may be of one mind and spirit as husband and wife. Thank you for your word, which says every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. I therefore pray for unity between us as a couple. I ask that you alone, Lord, will be the main pillar our marriage is built on, and that, as we continue to grow in unity and love for one another, we may be a support system for one another. For two are better than one, the book of Ecclesiastes says. I pray, Lord, that I may not run away from my responsibilities, but give me the strength, Lord, to rise up and take my position, that I may give my wife the support and encouragement she needs. Help me, Lord, to support her to become the woman you have called her to be. I pray that you help me to be a man of integrity, a man that she is proud of, and help me become everything that she ever wished for in a husband. In Jesus' name, I pray that you enable me to keep my promises and my vows. I pray that I may change in ways that can only come from you, Lord, working on the inside of me. May my wife be my best friend, and may she be my prayer partner, and learn to pray and agree with one another as husband and wife. Help me to put a hedge of protection around our relationship in every way. Help me to be a man under authority, God's authority. I pray that I may not be a selfish husband, a self-centered husband, but to look out for our best interest and the interest of our marriage. Help me, Lord, to use the spiritual authority you have placed upon me as a husband to cover my wife in prayer and lead and guide her in godly things. Help me, Lord, I pray, to live with my wife with understanding. 1 Peter 3 says, Husbands, Likewise, dwell with them with understanding, giving honor to the wife, as to the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers may not be hindered. I pray, Father, that I live with my wife with understanding, as to a weaker vessel, that my prayers to you may not be hindered. Help me treat my wife as the wonderful child of God that she is one who is made in your image and in your likeness. Help me change any behavior or attitude that hinders our marriage so that I will become a better husband. Help me to be able to apologize where I am supposed to. I pray that I may pursue peace even with my wife, for without it I will not be able to see you, Lord. I pray that as a husband I may thrive on this passage in 1 Corinthians 13 verses 4 to 7, which says love is patient and kind, love does not boast, it is not arrogant or rude, 
It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. I pray that I may exhibit the fruit of the Spirit in my marriage and as a born-again husband. Lord, apart from salvation, may I be the best thing that ever happened to her. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.